If you really want to visit Death Valley National Park and only have one day to do it, then keep watching because that's exactly what we did in March of 2022. Although Death Valley is located in California, the closest major city is Las Vegas, Nevada. It was only about a two hour drive from our RV park near the Vegas Strip to the visitor center in Furnace Creek, California. This small town inside Death Valley is the only place you'll find any sort of greenery, as well as the only place to fill up your gas tank. However, the prices here are outrageous, so it's definitely better just to fill up in one of the small towns outside the park. That's outrageous. It's also important to note that there's absolutely no cell service within the park, so make sure you print out a map so you can plan out your route before you go. All right, I'm fully charged, but there's no signal out here. A couple days before we drove to Death Valley, I printed out a park map so I could plan our visit. I knew we'd only have one day to see as much as possible since we weren't camping out there overnight, so I wanted to plan our route to cover the most ground while driving as little as possible. We left Vegas around 7 a.m. and arrived at the entrance sign around 9 a.m. We stopped for a quick photo before heading into the park. It was pretty awesome as we were driving deeper and deeper into the park to see our altitude monitor on our truck go down, down into the negative digits. Our first stop was Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America at an elevation of 282 feet below sea level. This little white sign up on the mountain shows where sea level is. You should lick it. Just kidding. Don't do that. I get thirsty. Ooh, you guys can take a picture with the bad water basin. Bad water basin? Wet sand. What's it feel like? Hard wet sand. in a clean area. <laughs> Not, that's where people walk. Let's get to a more Even though it's the hottest place on earth, it was actually a little bit chilly when we got out of the car. But as soon as the sun came out from behind the clouds, it really started warming up. We walked about a half a mile out into the salt flats until we came up on these salt blocks that people had stacked into little towers. like flat surface. Of course, Steve and I decided to taste the salt to see just how salty it was. Salty? Yeah. Very salty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
After our long walk back to the car, we drove to our second stop, Natural Bridge Canyon. You need to have really good tires or at least a spare or two before coming to Death Valley because several of the hiking trails or points of interest are at the end of long gravel roads and you could easily get a pop tire. You see that shade? Yeah. It's a nice breeze. Carved it out. This is a pretty easy trail for families since it's only about a half a mile to the natural bridge rock formation. If you want, you can keep going another quarter of a mile or so to the end of the trail and then turn around and head back to the parking lot for a total of 1.4 miles round trip. However, we did go in March when it was still relatively cool. I don't think I'd want to visit Death Valley in the summertime. Next, we headed just down the road to Artist Drive Scenic Loop. This paved, one-way scenic loop is the most popular drive in the park, and it takes you past the famous artist's palette. We saw a bunch of cars parked here, so we pulled over thinking we were at the artist's palette, but we weren't. Once we drove a little further, it was very clear when we arrived at the real artist palette. The beautiful pastel colors on the mountain are from ancient volcanic deposits of different minerals and compounds. Finished driving the scenic loop, we drove to Golden Canyon Trail. By this point, it was starting to heat up into the high 80s, and with such dry weather and not very much shade, we decided not to hike too far into the canyon. Plus, the day was half over and we still had a lot we wanted to see. So we hopped in the car and drove about 30 miles over to Mosaic Canyon Trail. 
This was another trail that was at the end of a very long, bumpy gravel road. You know, you're just making the hike harder for yourself when you climb everything. Old watershed areas. Yeah. We walked a short distance to the narrowest part of the trail where you can see the smooth rock walls of the canyon and then turned around and headed back to the car. This is so neat. Does it go quite a bit longer or? It goes up for a mile, but just, then it widens out. Okay. Does it get pretty cool up there or not really? This is the best part. The okay. Just a short distance away from Mosaic Canyon was the Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes. There were some massive sand dunes further out, but it would have taken forever to walk to those in the sand. So we just decided to check out some of the smaller ones that were closer to the parking area. Come on, boys. Exploring the sand dunes for a bit, we decided to head back to the visitor center so the boys could earn their junior ranger badges. All the adventurous and brave. And teach others. Thank you. Let's see. Cool. On our way out of the park, we stopped at Zabriskie Point and walked up to the viewpoint that overlooks the spectacular badlands that are particularly beautiful during sunrise and sunset. There are so many other amazing things to see in Death Valley, such as the racetrack, but some of them require extremely sturdy off-road vehicles because the roads to get to them are not suitable for regular cars. And since we only had one day in Death Valley, we wanted to see the most accessible and most popular features in the park. Death Valley is an international dark sky park, which means if you can extend your visit into the evening hours, you'll be rewarded with some of the best stargazing in the country. Please remember to bring tons of water and sunscreen with you, especially if you go in the summer months. Even in early March, we were still really thirsty after every hike and we were glad we brought extra water and a cooler. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned what you can do in one day at Death Valley. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.